Well, North Texas is seeing a brief pause in the rain, but Annalise Moore, wet weather is on the way this weekend, definitely ruining all outdoor plans that I might have had. I know, I know, Madison, you're trying to get in some golf rounds. Maybe you'll get lucky tomorrow. I just would say follow the radar because we're going to have to dodge on and off rain tomorrow. But I don't think Saturday's a washout. I'll get to that in a moment. I want to talk about what happened last night, and that was those strong storms moving through. Heavy rainfall out of those storms. That was really the big widespread issue was the very heavy rain. But thankfully, the storms moved off at a really fast pace, so we didn't have any big flooding issues but it was not fun for us driving into work very early this morning with some heavy rain coming down. You can see there in the yellows and oranges throughout the Metroplex, Tarrant County to Denton, uh, down around Ellis to Kaufman. We've got several spots, one to two inches, and some locations even pushing closer to three inches. So this was a major rain for us, really the heaviest rain we've had this year. And the official amount from DFW Airport coming in there right at one inch and three quarters just in that round from last night. It wasn't just the heavy rain. We actually did have reports several of what was usually small hail, but this was the largest that I saw. If you were uh, Daryl from Anna sent this in, and you can see that hailstone certainly larger by quite a bit than that quarter there in the photo. So we did end up with hail out of those storms as well. Now things have quieted down. We've got mostly clouds around, and I think they're going to linger a good part of today. 51, the number from the airport, and winds out of the southwest at 6. The rest of today probably uh, warming to about 57, so not a big increase. This is our coolest day of the weekend. And then as we get into tonight, not much of a drop-off. We'll be there close to 50, but we'll catch a break and stay dry for tonight. Let's talk about tomorrow. We've got our front that's been stalled south really the past several days, but it's going to finally make some progress, and it lifts as a warm front tomorrow back into North Texas, and that's the focal point for some light scattered showers by tomorrow morning, probably pretty early, up to midday, and then it's going to kind of linger near the Red River tomorrow evening. That's where I think we could see a couple of isolated storms, but certainly the best chance to see storms, I think, this weekend is going to be Sunday. A cold front will trail that warm front, and we're talking about widespread showers and more of a storm potential by Sunday afternoon and into the evening, especially for locations east of I-35. So something to keep in mind, Sunday's going to be the tougher day to dodge that rain. Once all is said and done, Saturday, Sunday, and some rain on Monday, we could be ending up with one to two more inches of rainfall. Those higher totals look to be off to the east. So keep the rain jacket with you. We are going to warm up this weekend a little bit. A very spring-like pattern for us in the 60s and even warmer as we look ahead to next week. Madison? But rain in the meantime. Annalise, thanks so much. Coming up next.